Hello and welcome to what I hope is becoming my series of, of quick and very easy to understand screenshots on how to um, process your f photographs through Photoshop. Just some quick and easy tricks to make your photos pop a little bit hopefully. What I want to talk to you about today is the Orton effect. It's known as the Orton effect, I've got to be honest and say I don't quite know why it's known as the Orton effect. Um, but what it does for your photograph is it gives it a sort of a softness. And yes, lens babies do, vintage lenses do and, and, and everything, but they all give their own kind of softness. This is a very nice way to finish off, especially floral photography, to just give it that little bit of extra something. So I have a photograph here of some mascari in a tiny little vase, which was made by an incredible potter called uh, Alan Birchall, who happens to be my partner's brother-in-law makes incredible pots. pots. Go and have a look at his Redline Pottery site. Google it. I'm sure you'll find it. In fact, I'll put a link below. Why don't I? Um, it's a tiny vase and it's suitable for all these little little tiny spring squirrels and, and mascara and what have you. And, and I adore it. Anyhow, the Orton effect. I have processed my photograph to this point. I've put a couple of textures on it. I've altered some of the... Um, some of the toning and what have you. I've taken the saturation down a tiny bit. Um, but what I want to do is just soften the whole thing off now to finish it off. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very quick and easy. First of all, you want to make a copy of this background layer. So if you're on a Mac, that's Command and J. If you're on a PC, it's Control and J. And it will make you a copy, as you see there, layer one. Now with this copy selected, First of all, we're going to put a blur filter on. So we go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now we're not really looking for any magic figure. What we're looking for is to get something where you can just about still see the detail, but it's almost gone. So I think probably about there will do. So in my case, it's been 16.2. No, it's not. It's 20.4 now. There we go. So that's I can still see what it is quite easily, but there's, there's a definite blur on there. Having applied that blur to the layer, I'm now going to go to Image, not Layer, but Image and Adjustments, and I'm going to select the Layers Adjustment. Now with this, what I want to do is I want to push it to its limits. So I want to make it light enough to almost start to blow, blow out and dark enough to look a bit yucky. So there we go, that looks pretty dreadful and that should, that should be about right. I know this looks illogical at this point but stick with me. Now you've done that and you've still got the second layer to, um, selected, take the opacity right down to zero straight away. Give your eyes a rest, that was horrible. Now what I want you to do is go back to the opacity and just start to roll it up slightly to maybe 10-12%. You must not take this too far. If you do, you'll regret it. I'll, stop, uh, I'll stick at 15 just for effect. And you might think, well, what the heck has that done? But in actual fact, if I turn it off and on, off and on, and off and on and you'll see it's added just a certain glowing softness about it I'm actually going to push it a bit more just for effect and off and on and off and on it's added a little bit of a glow too much there I'm going to stick at the 15 off and on and that's it's as simple as that it just takes all the detail out gives it a sort of a, it, it stays sharp but it has something of a glow about it. I don't know, why explain it? Why not just go with the flow and enjoy it for what it is? Um, and that's it, the Orton effect. When you've done that, as usual, you would just layers, flatten image. And there you go, you've got your finished image and you would save it in your normal way. Very quick tip for you this week. Thank you very much for joining me and please, please click subscribe. Um, and you will be notified when I, I post another one of these little snippets. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.